I think it's been very interesting to get the least developed countries uh, together with uh, us as uh, members of the North, so to say, mm -hmm. um, because the LDCs need to act and speak up as a group uh, in order to make sure that the interests of the poorest uh, and most vulnerable people get to the forefront of the debate in New York, where it tends to be other groups that dominate. So I think that in itself is very important and that we need as developing uh, developed countries to build partnerships and alliances with the countries of the south to get this agenda through and this is a great platform for that well i think it varies a lot from uh, country to country from donor to donor and from <laughs> partner to partner uh, some places i'm sure the, there's uh, room for improvement uh, but as far as Norway is concerned, I know that we are keen to look at what are the real needs of the poor and, and uh, vulnerable people and try to design our programs and support uh, uh, to the extent that we do it bilaterally uh, in collaboration with national uh, and local uh, partners, uh, NGOs, and of course uh, the UN system, which is a large uh, channel for our uh, 4 billion euros a year foreign assistance. I think so. I think uh, in areas like health and education, uh, there is broad consensus that there will be goals and targets uh, which build on the MDGs uh, in the area of sustainable energy for all. There's been a lot of uh, support, encouragingly so, from our point of view. We think that's uh, an area which was missing in the MDGs, which need to be part of the new post-2015 goals. And despite what uh, a couple of people said yesterday, I'm convinced there will be a strong goal on gender equality and women's rights. There is no reason to believe that uh, countries will not have such a goal in addition to having human rights and uh, women's rights as a strong cross-cutting issue. The issue which will be discussed tomorrow is interesting because we believe good governance is a new and important dimension and which should be reflected in the goal. There will be different views and I'll be very curious what's uh, going to take place at the debate tomorrow. Well, uh, it depends a lot on uh, them, but I think yes, in the areas I mentioned, health, education, I would say also nutrition, food security and energy. I think from our side there will be a focus on the needs of not only the least developed countries but also the least, uh, uh, the most vulnerable people uh, in those countries and elsewhere and uh, that the, the framework will clearly uh, absolutely reflect the poverty eradication dimension. The challenge will be to integrate the sustainable development dimension in a way that you know, it's expected from our constituencies and I think there's still some work that needs to be done and uh, I'm happy that we have this opportunity to also discuss with our least developed country partners uh, on, on that.